Hi, this is Jim Todd again with Video Surgeon and another two minute tutorial. In the video I made for you last week, I briefly showed you how Video Surgeon can significantly increase your ability to learn from videos by enabling you to slow the video down and zoom in, and even set beginning and ending loop points for continuous looping. Well, today we're going to shift our focus and talk about video sources. And the focus of today's uh, video sources is going to be on downloading from the internet. But before I get to that, it bears mentioning that Video Surgeon will open videos that you currently have stored on your hard drive, and it will also rip videos from the many ubiquitous DVDs uh, and DVD lessons that you might find or probably own from the internet. Um, so as long as a DVD is not encrypted or protected, that is to say, Video Surgeon can rip the video put it on your hard drive and allow you to manipulate it. So you have three video sources. You have the ability to use those sources that are already on your hard drives that may perhaps have come from a, a home, fam or home video camera. You can rip those from a DVD and then lastly you can get those from the internet and that's what we're going to look at right now. And the reason we're going to focus on the internet is that it is virtually a treasure trove of free unlimited videos and videos therefore that you can learn from. There are literally thousands of websites, probably hundreds of thousands of websites that have videos and there are millions of videos and Video Surgeon can download from an estimated 90 percent of all of the websites that have video on them. So let me then show you how we do this. The first thing you do is is click this button here that says toggle the sniffer window. When you do that it will open this little window and what I normally do then is put this up in my right hand top corner of my browser. Now in this case I have a fixed video size here and I want to keep this window open so you can see it so I'm not going to be able to do that completely and I'm going to have a little bit of trug trouble juggling windows here but I think we can do this fairly easily so we're going to minimize Video Surgeon and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open a browser which I already have open and we're going to just take this window and put it right up here in the corner to try to get it out of our way. Actually I'm going to move it up a little more and then I'm just going to show you how we do this. For instance here is a site uh, Guitar Master Class which is a fairly popular guitar okay. site Mercy, very loud. I don't know whether you heard that or not. I apologize. Anyway, so we're on this site. Let's uh, just pick a quick video here. Um, uh, heavy ballad C sharp minor, it says. So we're opening uh, a, a window here with a video. What you see happened here, and he's starting to play, and I'm going to turn this down so he doesn't play over top my voice, is that you see that something has populated this little window, and it says that there's an MP4 file that's 15.99 megabytes in size, and that is this video. So it has automatically detected this video, and then you can choose, if you'd like, to download or download and play. And I'm not going to explain the differences in this video. Uh, if you choose to purchase uh, Video Surgeon, you'll learn all about that. So here's one example. Let's uh, go to a second site called Vanderbilly. Um, and on Vanderbilly, again, it's another popular guitar site. And as you may start to get the impression here, uh, the topical focus of this video is going to be on sites that guitarists use today. Here's something by Led Zeppelin. Let's go ahead and click that. It's opening a window. And already look what's happened. And I'm going to pause this again so it doesn't uh, play over top of me. It has opened and found another video link. Here this one's 50.52 megabytes and it's an FLV. So again, if you'd like to download this, it's already automatically detected this video link and it allows you to download it. Um, so let's then take a look at yet another site. This one is called Jamplay, another very popular guitar site. Um, let's go ahead and open a video. Here's one, um, oh, I mean, take your pick here, Iron, Iron Maiden. Um, we're going to go ahead and open that. And I'm waiting for it to open here.
here it is. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to start it playing. And of course, as soon as we start it playing, look what happens. We populate the sniffer window with yet another video. It's again an FLV type that's this one is 65.57. So all of these videos now are available for you to download. And once you've downloaded them, of course, what you can do is you can slow them down, speed them up, do all of those other things. Let's take a last look then. Um, I had several different... Uh, Oh, YouTube. Yeah, I wanted to show you YouTube here. Let's just go ahead and type in guitar lessons. And once we've typed in guitar lessons, um, you know, we can pick any one of these we want. Uh, here's one called justinguitar.com. Watch what happens. As soon as we go to that website, it has found a video and uh, it has populated the sniffer window and this one is an FLV file again 39.12 and here it is playing and I'm just gonna stop it so briefly there is an overview of how this sniffer window works the last thing I'm going to say here as we conclude this video uh, this um, two-minute tutorial is that as you may begin to see, you could get this window filled with different links and you may get confused as to which link is for which video and you want to download one video or two videos but not all of them. So what you do is you highlight any one of the videos and you click the preview button and that will open a separate window. And I'm not going to do it here because in this small fixed frame where I don't have my complete or total browser to, to work with it gets a little confusing and I've got too many windows open but it would open over top the existing video and allow you to preview it and you could say oh yeah that's the one I want and then you could go ahead and click download or download and play or you could simply click remove and if you click remove it just removes those as you can see that it's doing now so uh, that's that's going to conclude this two minute tutorial it's probably taken me a couple more minutes longer than two but I wanted to get all of that in because it's important for you to see how this works and again millions of videos out there for your picking you find those that you think you can learn from you download them and then once you've downloaded them using video search and you can slow them down you can loop them you can zoom in uh, and by doing those things you'll be able to get more out of the videos you'll be able to learn from them and essentially you'll be able to create your own customized videos thanks have a good day